Hi folks, I'm Florian from iProcess and in today's episode we are looking into an advanced software testing technique known as mutation testing. This method helps us assess the quality of our test cases by introducing small deliberate faults or mutations into our source code to check whether our tests can detect them. Mutation testing operates on a simple principle. By altering our code in small ways, we simulate potential errors that could occur during development. These mutations can be as simple as changing a logical operator, altering a value or reversing conditions. The goal is to verify that our test suite is comprehensive enough to catch these changes, ensuring the liability of our software. Why is mutation testing important? It provides a metric for the effectiveness of our tests. Unlike traditional testing methods that might leave certain paths unexamined, mutation testing challenges our code and tests in unique ways, uncovering weaknesses and areas for improvement. The process involves generating mutants, running your test suite against these modified versions of the code and then analyzing the results. If a test fails, the mutant is killed. If the test passes, the mutant survives. The ratio of kill to survive mutants gives us an insight into the strength of our tests. Here's a simple example. A function that checks if an input is positive can be tested by feeding it a positive number and a negative number, with the expected output being accordingly. If the function's logical operator is altered before the test, the result will be wrong and the test fails as expected, and the mutation is killed. Now here's an example for surviving mutation, including the action triggered. A function that checks if a number is positive and even, where the mutation is changed from logical AND to a logical OR. In that case, the function will effectively return true for all positive numbers, as well as for all even negative numbers. A test that simply uses, let's say, 3 and 4 as well as minus 2 as test inputs will pass here, and therefore the mutation will survive, flagging the test case. In order to cover the scenario, the test will have to add also negative odd numbers to the input list. Thanks to modern tools, mutation testing can be automated and integrated into your existing development workflow. These tools handle the heavy lifting from generating mutants to running tests and compiling reports, making it accessible for projects of any size. Implementing mutation testing does require additional resources and can increase the time needed for testing. However, the benefits in terms of enhanced test quality and code robustness often outweigh these costs. It encourages developers to write more effective tests and provide a deeper understanding of the code base. To sum up, mutation testing is a powerful technique to elevate the quality of your software testing. By pushing the limits of your test suite, it ensures that your tests are not just passing, but are genuinely effective at safeguarding your code against future errors.